score touchdowns. They can make two-point conversions, of course. They can play every other aspect of the game. I'm with you. I'm with you. I know. Don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there is one thing that teams without place kickers can never do in a football game other than kick. The question is, what can a football team never do without a place kicker? And the answer is, yeah. they cannot score an odd number of points. They Why? Can, Why well, because, because touchdowns are six points. The extra points that they can score are only two points. They can't uh, score one point extra points. And they can't kick field goals, which are three points. Only They can even only score numbers. even numbers. Ah, so do we have a winner? The winner this week is John Kay from Seattle, Washington. And for having his answer selected at random from among all the correct answers that we got, John will get a $26 gift certificate to the Shameless Commerce Division at CarTalk.com, with which he can get a four-pack of our new CarTalk reusable shopping bags. Yeah, yeah, th these are the bags that you can take with you to the supermarket and reuse so you don't add more paper or plastic to the landfills. And don't worry about being embarrassed because your shopping bags say car talk on them. No, no, no. There's a big disclaimer that says my other reusable shopping bags are from good NPR shows. <laughs> yeah, you can see pictures of them at the website. Now, if you didn't win this week, stay tuned because there's a new puzzler coming up. In the meantime, you can call us with your car questions. The number is 888-CAR-TALK. That's 888-227-8255. Hello, you're on Car Talk. Hi, this is Millie Kirkwood. I'm calling you from Plano, Texas. Millie! Millie! Yeah! How you doing? I'm doing great. Just Plano great. is a good place, isn't it? it well, oh, you've heard of it. I think I, we were there once. I was in Plano, yeah. Oh. So I spent a weekend there Oh, that night. was Drano. That was no. Drano, Texas. That's on the other side no. of Dallas. No, you can't say things like that. <laughs> in any place in Texas. Absolutely not. Now, this is the greatest place. We may not be Boston, but we're right up there. Now, I've got a, a not a problem with the way my car runs, but it's with the windshield. Oh. Whenever I go through the drive-in car wash, you know, at the service station, uh -huh. yeah. well, if you want to get the blow dry on your car, you have to get that wax treatment, and it leaves a film on the windshield. And that's not so bad during the day, but at night or when it's raining and you can't see anyway, it gets it all smeary. And I can't get that off. Well, if, if you told them about it, they would deny it vehemently. Of course. And the reason they would deny it is there's nothing in that container of wax. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know when you go through and you pay the extra two bucks for yeah. the wax? Yeah. And it says the light will flash when yeah. the, the... I don't think there's anything in that. <laughs> I mean, the light flashes. How would you know? How would you know? No, I, I never can't tell any difference in the way my car looks. I just like to get it blown dry. So it Well, I think they blow dry the car regardless whether you get the wax or not, don't they? Not at the cheap car washes down here. Yeah, see, Millie's going to one of these cheapo places. Yeah, I don't go it, any place it's, like it's that. It's only one bay long. You go oh, in, the yeah. hose, the guy comes up with a hose, <laughs> he sprinkles it down, and then he leaves. I got it. I know what, yeah. you, I know what you're going to. Uh, yeah. yeah. But if you can if you can avoid the wax, I mean, yeah. what's the big deal about the blow dry? Just forget it. Well, it just, I have spots on my car if I don't do the blow dry. Well, I think you need to upgrade, Millie. You need to go to a fancier car wash. Yeah, but in the meantime, how can, do you know how I can get that stuff off the windshield? A friend of mine told me to use uh, steel wool, but I'm afraid it'll scratch the, the windshield. I don't want that. Well, we did have a call uh, last year from a guy who detailed cars, and he said you could use 4-0. That is the steel wool with the four zeros. Oh, 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 okay. Steel wool on your, and I, I don't think I'd try it on the windshield first. Yeah. yeah. You might want to well, try it on your husband's car. <laughs> 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 I'll try it on one of those cars that parks over the lines in the parking deck. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. even better. One of those people that takes up two spaces. But there are a lot of pretty pretty good uh, window cleaners for cars that really are designed to get off a lot of the, the stuff that gets on, like, like uh, pitch and whatever, and tar from trees. And it should take off that wax as well. You know, the thing that I have found cleans windshields better than anything is uh, go down to the place that makes contact lenses. Do they have like Pearl Vision and places like that in, in yeah. the Plano? Yeah. Go, go to Pearl Vision and buy some lens cleaner. Oh, okay. And it comes in a little bottle. It costs about $700 for a, a, like a <laughs> Three drops. six ounce bottle. <laughs> yeah. But it is phenomenal for cleaning windshields. No kidding. So use that, and okay. your problems will be over, and that's the end of that. 
and I'll live happily ever after. And you certainly will. Indeed. Hey, great. I love your show. You guys are just too much. See you, Millie. Great. Thank you. Thanks for your call. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. One eight 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 Car Talk. That's eight 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 two two seven eight two five five. Hello, you're on Car Talk. Yeah, this is Richard Derby, and I'm calling from Baltimore, Maryland. Hi, Richard. How Richard. are you doing, man? I'm having a wonderful time. Good. What's up? Listen, I, I may have a problem with my car. I may not, and if it is, I'm not sure what the problem is, but yeah, I got an 89 Oldsmobile Cutlass Sierra Yeah. that I purchased from a friend, that, and it had 100,000 miles when I purchased it. Mm. And I took it into my mechanic, my trusted mechanic, and we were standing out in the shade, under the shade tree in front of his building, and he asked me if when was the last time the timing belt was changed. And I really didn't have an answer for that. And he said, well, you really need to change this at 60,000 miles, which made me wonder if he ever even looked at the odometer, which was sitting on 100,000 at the time. So uh, I, he, I, he wanted a couple of hundred dollars, he said, to change the timing belt. So I took it to another mechanic, just out of curiosity. And that mechanic said... You don't have a timing belt. That's exactly what he said. He said, you don't have a timing belt, you have a timing change. Yeah. And the price just jumped. He, and he said, I want $500 to fix it. <laughs> And, and, and I'll, I'll put it And I don't care if it's broke or not. <laughs> well, you, you have a V6 engine in this thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so he said it'd be 500, around 500 bucks to get to put a new timing chain and, and the metal housing that was on the front of it would have to be replaced. Oh, you, you were hearing noise from this engine? No, he just said it's time to do it. Now I got two different guys with two different <laughs> ideas. So I went to another guy and he said, no sweat, you do have a timing chain. But don't bother to change it. But no, he said he'd change it. But he'll do it for $300, he said, because he doesn't have to replace the housing on the front because it usually gets torn up by the chain, but he knows how to fix that so he can put it back on. Well, it would only get torn up by the chain if the chain failed. It's whacking against it. In other words, I mean, these, these engines do have a tendency to go through chains. Right. And, and when the chain jumps timing, when the chain gets so loose that it will either strip gears off the cam gear or jump and change the valve timing, the, the, the risk you run is that you will bend valves. Yeah, I figured I might do that. Which, which, which is disastrous, because then you're going to yank the cylinder heads, and it's going to cost a million dollars. So it, it's not nice to... Not this car, It's not a... That's me good. Hello, Goodwill, can you send that truck over here to get the car? So it, it would be nice to do this preemptively, you know? Well, my qu- I got a hundred... And now I have 176,000 miles on Oh, you do? And so and one guy listened to it, and his remark was, well, I don't hear anything slapping around in there, so just keep driving. But the thing is, I keep thinking, shouldn't I do, like you say, preemptive, rather than have the well, chain fall off when I'm driving on the road? There is no recommended change interval for the timing chain by any manufacturer. Okay. There are some cars which are prone to have timing chains fail, and yours is one of them. <laughs> However... Actually it is. Of course it would be mine. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. But, but on the other hand, if it hasn't failed in all these miles... No, it hasn't. It's very likely that who's ever driven it has driven it very gently because the leading cause of premature timing chain failure is driving the car hard. In other words, accelerating very rapidly all the time. Stopping on that pedal from a dead stop. My friend would have never done that. But if your friend didn't do that and you don't do it, it's possible for the thing to go 250,000 miles or more. And something else will probably die before the chain gives On the up. other hand, if you like the car and you hope to keep it for several more years, 300 bucks is not a lot of money to spend. Okay. I'd have to recommend that you do it. Okay. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there, there are a lot of other things that could break, too, but this is the one thing that if it were to break and, 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 and you were driving at high speed, it. it would take the engine with it. Yeah. And that's, like I say, that's the time to call Goodwill. Up that's the time to call Goodwill and say, this is Richard in Baltimore. Come and get my cup. And they would say, we've been waiting for your call. <laughs> Please send me my tax discount. <laughs> no, 300 bucks, I'd, I'd spend the dough and do it. All right, that's great. Right and make sure record. he doesn't replace just the chain, but the gears as well. The gears all. Oh, good. yeah, you definitely want new gears. All right. Well, I sure appreciate your help. Well, we're glad you called, Richard. Y'all have a good one. <laughs> you too. See you See later. See you then. <laughs> 888 Car Talk. That's 888 227 8255. Hello, you're on Car Talk. Hello, this is Jerry in Adrian, Michigan. Jerry, like G E J E G E R I. Nope, 